know, he's such a charismatic guy. You know, his personal qualities, his leadership abilities. He just, when he's in a group, he just makes sure things go well and that people are comfortable. And so that immediately happened here. The players that were on the team didn't resent them coming. It was just, they just got on immediately, famously. And you know, some of his best friends to this day are still people on that team. I only saw him as an extremely confident and capable player. And I think that, you know, maybe that first year that, you know, if he was doing anything, it was taking a, away a few of the sort of unnecessarily fancy edges to his game. Right. I mean, he was so good, he could almost like fool around and toy with things on the court. I've never seen anybody in any sport work as hard as him. But I think it also, so you, you have the work ethic, you have the incredible skill, you have the intangible factors, you have the leadership ability, you have the personal qualities. I think that, you know, like the superstar athletes, they've got all of the package. You know, just the, the very good only have four or five, three of five. There's always some part that's missing. So I didn't, you know, it was always, you know, all the parts were there for him. Victoria is very proud to call itself a home to Steve Nash and you don't have to walk very far on the street to talk to somebody who has uh, either a memory or knows a little something about him. Steve Nash is certainly a local icon and, and very highly respected here. He's, a, he's a, certainly a, a legend. We got icons, I mean we got mountains and whales and we've got Steve Nash. We visited his childhood home in Gordon Head and even got a glimpse of the uh, chain link fence that he would hop over when he was uh, a young boy and his uh, elementary school at Hillcrest. And then we also had the opportunity to go to St. Michael's uh, University here in Victoria where Steve played a few years basketball and he was highly regarded and recognized on that team and also voted the uh, MVP in his graduating year. He's very highly regarded because of how humble he is. Yeah, I, I think it's because he's humble. What a great sportsman he is. Getting a uh, two-time MVP. But he's also a very proud Canadian and we're proud to call him one of our own.